Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Melly Mel went on live TV recently. Melly Mel, very um, a pioneer in the game, wrote songs like The Message. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. You know, great songs. White Lines. White Lines. With a Reeves reaction, go do my mind. And all the while, I think of you. I always hated that song, but nonetheless, he's a legend. Nonetheless, he's a legend. He was recently on Vlad TV. Very popular YouTuber. Probably the most popular YouTuber when it comes to hip-hop. Even though he's much bigger than hip-hop. And he pretty much proved that when some people tried to boycott him and cancel him. Like I was like, really? Come on. Can you guys knock it off? You know, no offense, but a few washed up rappers, you know, aren't, aren't going to cancel something as powerful as a DJ Vlad. Shout out to DJ Vlad because I like what he does. I don't care about your personal feelings about him. If you want to share your personal feelings, you get your own show. But I like DJ Vlad. I think he's cool. I think he does great work. Get some interesting people. Not just hip hop, but just pop culture, everything. He he has he 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 does a great job over there. So I think it's the dumb rappers who who go on there and share information that they shouldn't be sharing. That's who we should really be getting upset at. But no, everybody wants to blame DJ Vlad. Call DJ Vlad the feds. DJ Vlad just a great entertainer. You're just a dummy for answering questions that you shouldn't be answering on a platform like a Vlad TV. On any platform. I don't care if you have a Facebook Live and now you only have five friends and you just say something, you know, dumb on Facebook Live with five friends. Who knows? Something big can happen to you and you could one day that five friends turns into five thousand, five million, and now that thing you said when you have five friends. Oops. So it's like you ding dong, stop doing shit like that. Stop saying stuff as simple as your Instagram story be your Instagram story. You have a goddamn Instagram story. Oh, it's only going to be up for 24 hours. Well, that could come back to haunt you. We're talking about Melly Mel, man. He was on Vlad TV recently, right? And the topic of Africa Bambada came up. Africa Bambada, another pioneer legend in the hip hop game, even though I hate using that because of the recent allegations against him. Allegations, allegedly. Africa Bambada was a child molester. What do you, what do you call him? Piece of shit, you know, person who does very bad things to innocent people who are not under the age of consent. Some recent things have came out. If you want the story, type in Hassan Campbell, Africa Bambada, and go down that rabbit hole. Yes, Africa Bambada was a child predator, allegedly. Pretty well documented, and Melly Mel was asked the question by DJ Vlad. Melly Mel asked DJ, uh, DJ Vlad asked Melly Mel about the allegations, and Melly Mel said. And I'm paraphrasing this. I'm not quoting him correctly 100%. But you'll get the gist of it at the end of this sentence. He said... Everybody knew. Everybody knew. We just kept it pushing. What? Everybody knew Melly Mel? Everybody knew that Africa Bambada was diddling little boys and nobody said anything. See, that that would have been my follow up question. If I, you know, DJ Vlad, I guess there's not, you know, um, I, I guess there's not, I don't know why DJ Vlad didn't ask that, but my next question would have been, and no one said anything? Why didn't you say anything, Melly Mel? 
But see, when you get to a certain level of the DJ Black, you kind of got to tiptoe because, because there are certain rituals in Hollywood, allegedly, that involve acts of, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to go there. Once again, go down that rabbit hole, check it out. But my question for Melly Mel is why didn't you say anything if you knew? He said everybody knew. And it just makes you think about hip hop in the early days. And it even goes back to Hollywood. Hollywood was like that, you know, back in the 20s and 30s and 40s, they had a casting couch. Hey, um, hey, young Marilyn Monroe. Hey, young Shirley Temple. You want that role in that movie? Come back here to this cabin and suck off this nasty, fat, 48-year-old, balding white dude who is a head executive of MGM. Allegedly. Gatekeepers. We all know the gatekeeper. Jesse Reyes has a great song called Gatekeeper. Check it out. So that is what the allegations are. And according to Melly Mel, everybody knew. Everybody knew. Mm -mm -mm. And I know that went over a lot of people's heads when he said that. I don't know if a lot of people even caught that or would know that the next logical question would be, why did you not say anything? That would be the next logical question. So I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping people start pressing Melly Mel a little bit more. I don't know, maybe share this video. I'll ask Melly Mel, if you knew Africa Bambata was doing these things to young children back in the day, why didn't you say anything personally? I'm putting that on you. Because you know what, there are certain things where it takes a village. And if you know, if, if someone I'm working with is diddling little boys, I can't tell you how fast I'm going to call 911 and report this guy. Like, there is no, oh, everybody knew, he just didn't say anything. It That that doesn't even register. If I know my next door neighbor diddles little boys, I'm calling the cops as soon as I get that news. Not in Hollywood. Not in the hip-hop world now, allegedly, apparently. They've been hiding things like this since day one. Shout out to hip hop. Hiding child pedophilia since 1979. Very, very sad day for this culture, this genre that I, I grew up loving. Really bothers me. Look. Some people would say murderers are the worst people on the planet. Like, I know some, let me, let me pull back. Let's not DJ Vlad myself. I think the worst thing on this planet is someone who does something to little, little kids. Girls, boys, whatever the case is. If you are an older person and you've done something to a young child, There shouldn't be a hell hot enough for you. And I don't even know if that makes any sense. But if you do that, you're the worst type of human being. You'll be long gone and this will stick with this person for the rest of their life. Every time they have a, maybe, you know, maybe every time they have a sexual encounter, you know, with, with their significant other, you know, you things like this affect people for the rest of their life and all because you were a piece of shit when you were 32 years old and you decided to diddle your eight-year-old niece. But in Hollywood, we sweep that under the rug, don't we, guys? You know, I wish Hollywood would focus more on things like that than, I don't know, canceling Dr. Seuss books. I wish Hollywood would focus more on things like that than, I don't know, canceling Dumbo, taking parts out of S S Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. 
God, what a world we live in, right? If people actually put a little bit more focus into those type of things. <clears throat> Melly Mel knew the whole time. And he didn't say anything. So if you are friends with Melly Mel on Instagram, M-E-L-L-E-M-E-L, -E 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 hip-hop legend Melly Mel, share this video with him. And ask him if he knew that Africa Bambada was doing things like this with underage kids. Why didn't he say anything? I want this. I want everybody. I'm actually posting this on, on YouTube, on all my YouTube channels. And I please encourage you to go to Dusty Vision TV, Dusty Vision Radio, and share this show. And specifically, hit them up on Instagram. Just say, hey, Melly Mel, you, you said something on Vlad TV that... that, that caught the, the ear of a podcaster who's actually half deaf. What what a coincidence, I'm half deaf, but it caught my ear. So yeah, enough of that, enough of that. <sighs> Gotta love Hollywood, huh?